abstract class now let's understand what is the abstract class in c sharp abstract class is a special type of class which cannot be instantiated it means the abstract class object we cannot create abstract class always act as a base class or you can say the parent class for other classes so from abstract class we can derive the another class and usually uh, we create the abstract class whenever there is a requirement to share the common functionality between two classes if you look at in this example we created here abstract class for the bank account and in the bank we having the different types of account we having the saving account we having the current account and we having the loan account as well and this picture i'm taking the example of only two accounts over here so so both the account having the common properties let's say account id account balance interest rate service charge uh, withdraw account and we having the calculate interest so if you will look at in this picture we having a withdraw method this withdraw method having the different implementation for the saving account having a different implementation for the current account so abstract class we create whenever we are willing to create the abstract as well as non abstract method and what are the method you have declared as an abstract in the abstract class it is mandatory to implement in the drive class so in the saving account and in the current account we are implementing the withdraw method which is the part of this bank account abstract class now the question is here when to use abstract class so abstract class you should use whenever you are willing to share the common behavior between the multiple classes and those classes might be having some behavior which they are implementing in their own way the the most popular and the best would example is here of bank account in the bank account we having the different different types of loan account so we having the the best example is here bank account so in the bank we having the different types of account we having the current account we having the saving account we having the loan account and if you will look at all these accounts having the common properties account number we have the customer id we having the address we having the contact number so these things we can share among all these accounts but they having the different way of interest rate they having the different way of calculating the things so those method these classes can implement as per their requirement so in simple language whenever you are willing to create the multiple version of your component or class that time you should use the abstract class so in this example we are going to create the multiple version of the bank account so these are the current account saving account and loan account key points about the abstract class so when you creating the abstract class so obviously you should know what are the things you should take care of when you are dealing with the abstract class so the first point is here the abstract class cannot be instantiated it means you cannot create the abstract class object even a abstract class can have the constructor as well as destructor just like a normal class having if the class cannot be sealed class because the sealed class cannot be inherited and here the abstract class can be inherited so we cannot make a abstract class as sealed an abstract class contains the abstract as well as non abstract members and what are the abstract members we are having we need to implement in the drive class an abstract class members can be private protected and internal as we having the members in a regular class the abstract members cannot be private because the abstract members we need to implement in the drive class if you will make them private you will not able to define your implementation for those abstract method so all the abstract method should be either protected internal public you cannot make them private even abstract members are implicitly virtual and must be implemented by a non abstract drive class because sometime it happens you might be 
inheriting abstract class in another child abstract class so in the another child abstract class you don't need to implement the abstract method but if but if it is a non abstract child class so it would be mandatory to implement the all the abstract method of the parent class so these are the key points you should know when you writing the code for the abstract class for the child class which you have derived from the abstract class so these are so these points understanding will help you a lot while writing the code interface in c sharp now let's understand what are the interface in c sharp so interface act as a contract for a class or a structure which is going to implement it here so interface never act as a parent class as a abstract class act or as a regular class act so interface always act as a contract so whenever a class or a structure is implementing an interface so what are the members we have specified in the interface that class has to implement it is just like the the contract between two parties so what are the contract they signed they have to follow if there is a change in the contract there is a always dispute between the two parties similarly here when you are going to change the interface members are like interface methods what will happen that implementer class are like implementer structure start showing the error so when you will add a new method if that method you have not implemented in the drive in the implementer class you will start getting the error that is the same thing what are the contract the two parties sign with each other if there is a change in the contract there is always dispute between the parties same thing is here so interface never act as a parent class it just like the abstract class act even the interface having only the member declaration and implicitly every member of an interface is public and abstract so explicitly you don't need to make the member of an interface as public and abstract and it cannot have the non abstract members all the members of the interface are implicitly abstract and public now let's understand the interface by the help of an example let's say there is a requirement of logging the activity or you can say logging the user activity so what is happening here we having a logger and we for the logger we can have the console log and we having the file log that means either we can log the activity into the console either we can log the activity into the into the file so it can be a text file so what we can do here for implementing the this thing what i can do here i can create a i log interface and there i can declare a log method and this log method will have the different implementation for logging it on the console and it will have a different implementation for logging the activity into the file so we having two classes here console log class which is also implementing the i log interface and we having the file log class which is also implementing the i log interface so this is the example we are using here how we can implement the i log interface into the console log class and into the file log class now the question is here when to use interface so you should use interface to group the object based upon the common behaviors as we do in the service oriented architecture like wcf even whenever you are willing to provide the more abstract view to a model which is unchangeable because the contract is always unchangeable so whenever there is a requirement to provide the more abstract view to a model that interface are the well and good so if you will look at whenever there is a requirement or uh, to provide the different services to your client to your customer so their interface are the well suited so that's why in the service oriented architecture when we are using the wcf they will be prefer to use interface even the interface are helpful to create the loosely coupled components which are easy to maintain and pluggable so if there is a requirement 
whenever you are willing to create the loosely coupled components and on the runtime you can provide uh, the implementation of the interface with the help of dependency injection there also interface will help you so that's why when we are going to implement the dependency injection in our application or to create the loosely coupled components of the system their interface help us the example of loose coupling is let's say you are having a payment gateway api so that payment gateway purpose what you can do you can create an interface and you can define the your implementation based upon the payment gateway because nowadays what is happening in a single website we are using the multiple payment gateway so you can have the pay you money you can have the paypal you can have the paytm but ultimately all the payment gateway are doing the same thing so what you can do here you can define a interface for receiving the payment from the website and based upon the payment gateway that payment method will have the different implementation so this is about the interface you should know so just remember one thing interface always act as a contract they never act as a parent key points about interface now let's understand what are the main things should know about the interface so first of all you should understand interface always act as a contract so when we are going to use the interface within a class so there is a always implementation there is no inheritance because so many people think about the interface are used for the multiple inheritance so this is not the correct answer with respect to the class because for a class interface always act as a contract but when the same thing you are using with the interface let's say sometime it happens one interface you are using in another interface so in that case there is a inheritance so interface to interface there is a inheritance but interface to class there is a always implementation so this is the most important key point you should understand so when we are saying the multiple inheritance so it is all about interface to interface when we are saying interface to class or like interface to the structure it is always implementation the next point is here an interface cannot be instantiated that means you cannot create the interface object but what of the class implemented that interface that class object we can pass as a reference to the interface instance so interface object we cannot create an interface contains only properties indexer methods delegates and events so these can be the members of the interface an interface cannot contain the constant members constructor destructor instance variable as we define in the class label static members even the nested interface so these things we cannot define within an interface even the member of interfaces cannot have any access modifier not even public because by default the interface members are public and abstract sometimes it happens you are having more than one interfaces which having the same method name or you can say the same members name and both the interfaces we are implementing in the same class so in that case you should use the explicit implementation for the interface so that you get to know like which interface method you are going to implement in that class at this point already explained to you an interface can extend and inherit the another interface so interface to interface there is always inheritance but interface to class there is always implementation means there is always a contract for a class interface versus abstract class now let's understand the difference between the interface and abstract class so interface act as a contract for a class so contract is just like we having the agreement between two parties if there is any change in the agreement you can say if there is any change in the contract so there is always dispute between the parties similar way if you will change the interface so what about that class which is implementing the interface that has to either implement the newly added methods and like what are the changes you have done into the existing method so class has to follow 
सो देर इज ऑलवेज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बट ऑफ स्ट्रिक्ट लॉस ऑलवेज एक्ट एज ए पेरेंट एंड पेरेंट इज ए स्ट्रिक्ट पेरेंट बिकॉज द स्ट्रिक्ट पेरेंट हैविंग द फ्यू रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन दैट हैव री चाइल्ड हैज टू फॉलो सिमिलर वे वी हैविंग द अपस्टेक क्लास सो दे हैविंग द अपस्टेक मैथड एज वेल एज नॉन अपस्टेक मैथड सो एन यू विल लुक एट द इंटरफेस सो इन इंटरफेस वी हैविंग द ओनली मेम्बर डिक्लेशन एंड इम्प्लीसिटली एवरी मेम्बर इज पब्लिक एंड अपस्टेक इन द इंटरफेस सो एक्सप्लीसिटली डोंट नीड टू डिफाइन any member in the interface as public and upstack but in upstack class we can have the upstack member as well as non upstack member and the non upstack member can be the private public and protected in the interface we cannot have the constant members we cannot have the constructor destructor instance variable the static members even we cannot define a nested interface also so these things are not possible at the interface level but in an upstack class we can have the constant member we can have the constructor we can have the destructor we can have the instance variable a static member and a stack and the nested class also so we having the constructor support in the upstack class because we can create the upstack class object and we can inherit it also in the drive class but the interface object we cannot create so the constructor is no required over there even interface never act as a parent so there is no inheritance between interface and the class so interface provide us the full abstraction so whenever there is a requirement to create a full abstraction you should go ahead with the interface after class provide us the partial abstraction because here we have a chance of having the non abstract method so interface you should use whenever you are willing to provide the common functionality to the unrelated classes so that you can create the loosely coupled components which are easy to maintain and plug so whenever there is a requirement to uh, inject the one component in the another one so their interface is helpful because the interface based implementation is easy to plug and play after class you should use over there whenever you are going to create the multiple version of your component to provide the default behavior as well as common behavior that the drive class can share and overwrite as per their requirement so here we having the things like we are willing to share the common behavior would be in the multiple drive classes and if they are willing to overwrite them they can also overwrite and they can also share so these points you should understand between the interface and the abstract class so they are different from each other they are not exactly the same and one more thing you should understand here interface we never use for implementing the multiple inheritance at the class level but if there is a interface to interface inheritance so there is always a inheritance uh, one more thing should understand about the interface and abstract class interface to class there is always implementation there is no inheritance but interface to interface there is a inheritance so interface cannot be used to implement the multiple inheritance at the class level but they can be used to implement the multiple inheritance at the interface level so this point should be clear where the multiple inheritance is coming at the interface level and where the multiple implementation is coming at the class level